Hi there. We would like to invite you to subscribe to our channel where we will share videos with you on interesting topics in economics and finance. By subscribing to our channel, you will enhance your knowledge of topical issues. Whether you are a student pursuing a course in economics or finance, or a policy maker, or perhaps a member of the public who simply wants to be better informed. Please hit the subscribe button and be informed whenever we publish a new video. Now, on to today's video. Welcome to today's video. A very interesting subject or concept in decision making relates to cognitive biases. As much as we may want to believe that decision makers make decisions objectively, cognitive bias rears its head often in decision making. This is so because cognitive biases are unconscious biases that creep into decision making without the decision maker being necessarily aware of them, unless they have been trained or are careful to check their decisions against this problem. Unfortunately, cognitive biases often creep into very consequential decision making, like court judgments and policing and into areas like investing. What do we mean by cognitive bias? A cognitive bias is a subconscious error in thinking that leads you to misinterpret information from the world around you and affects the rationality and accuracy of decisions and judgments. Biases are unconscious and automatic processes designed to make decision-making quicker and more efficient. Cognitive biases can be caused by several different things, such as heuristics, meaning mental shortcuts, social pressures, and emotions. Cognitive biases take many forms. I'm going to list a few such forms. This list is courtesy of the Corporate Finance Institute. Overconfidence bias. Overconfidence results from someone's false sense of their skill, talent, or self-belief. The most common manifestations of overconfidence include the illusion of control, timing optimism, and the desirability effect. The desirability effect is the belief that something will happen because you want it to. Self-serving bias. Self-serving cognitive bias is the propensity to attribute positive outcomes to skill and negative outcomes to luck. In other words, we attribute the cause of something to whatever is in our own best interest. Many of us can recall times that we have done something and decided if everything is going to plan, it's due to skill, and if things go the other way, it's just bad luck. Herd mentality. Herd mentality is when investors blindly copy and follow what other famous investors are doing. When they do this, they are being influenced by emotion rather than by independent analysis. There are four main types, self-deception, heuristic simplification, emotion, and social bias. Loss aversion. Loss aversion is a tendency for investors to fear losses and avoid them more than they try to make profits. Many investors would rather not lose $2,000 than earn $3,000. The more losses one experiences, the more loss averse they are likely to become. Framing cognitive bias. Framing is when someone makes a decision because of the way information is presented to them rather than based just on the facts. In other words, if someone sees the same facts presented in a different way, they are likely to come to a different conclusion about the information. Investors may pick investments differently depending on how the opportunity is presented to them. Narrative fallacy. 
the narrative fallacy occurs because we naturally like stories and find them easier to make sense of and relate to. It means we can be prone to choose less desirable outcomes due to the fact that they have a better story behind them. This cognitive bias is similar to the framing bias. Anchoring bias. Anchoring is the idea that we use pre-existing data as a reference point for all subsequent data, which can skew our decision-making processes. If you see a car that costs $85,000 and then another car that costs $30,000, you could be influenced to think the second car is very cheap. Whereas if you saw a $5,000 car first and the $30,000 car is one second, you might think it's very expensive. Confirmation bias. Confirmation bias is the idea that people seek out information and data that confirm their pre-existing ideas. They tend to ignore contrary information. This can be very dangerous cognitive bias in business and investing, so also in law and justice. Hindsight bias. Hindsight bias is the theory that when people predict a correct outcome, they wrongly believe that they knew it all along. Representativeness heuristic. Representativeness heuristic is a cognitive bias that happens when people falsely believe that if two objects are similar, then they are also correlated with each other. That is not always the case. The key takeaway here is that in a given situation, whether you are the one taking the decision or assessing someone else's decision making, you have to factor in the probability that the process of decision making may be colored by one or other bias and consciously search or seek to limit this. Please hit the subscribe button and be informed whenever we publish a new video.